In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to link to tabs from the same page and also from an external page. I have three menu items here and I have three buttons here, all of which link to the tab that is on this page below the fold. I'm going to go ahead and click this button and see what happens. So this is one. Of course, the first tab is open by default, so it makes sense to click on the second one. So I'm going to click and it opens the second one. Let's scroll back and click on the third one and it opens tab three. Now, if I click on the menu items, you can see that the tabs respond to it. Let's scroll all the way up and click two. Two opens and click three. Three opens. This also works with links from other pages. So I'm gonna to go to another page and I'm gonna click on one. One is gonna open. Let's go back. I'm gonna click two and two is gonna open. Let's go back. I'm gonna click three and three is gonna open. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up. So inside Oxygen, I've gone ahead to set my tab. So first thing, let's take a look at how the tab is set up. Um, the first thing you have to do is to make sure that your tabs have an ID that has to be linked to. So in my own case, I have an ID of one, two, and three for each of the tabs. The second thing you have to take note of is the link that you want to use as the anchor link. So for instance, my button, um, I have the class of link to tab on it. So you have to ensure that the link you're going to use as your anchor link has a class of link to tab because we're going to use that in the JavaScript. So this one has link to tab, this has link to tab, this has link to tab. And of course, you, you link it by uh, actually linking it. For instance, the first one links to the tab, hash one. The second one links to the second tab, hash two. The third one links to the third tab, hash three. The next thing we're going to look at is the links. So uh, the way you set up the, the buttons here is going to be different from the way you set up the links. For instance, while we add link to tab here, we are not going to be able to add link to tab to the menu item because the class, because we're not going to be able to add a class to the A tag of the link. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go to the back end. I have my menu set up. Of course, these are custom links that links to that particular page slash the hash link, just the regular way you will link, you know, to any hash uh, section on your page. And then I have my navigation label, which is tab one that is not relevant to this. One important thing is you have to give it an attribute. So you have to give the title attribute a value, and then you have to give the classes. Now notice I did not give it a class of link to tab the way I did with the button. And because if I gave it a class of link to tab, now let's go to the front end and inspect. Let me inspect this menu item. So now I gave it a class of tab links. That class tab links will be assigned to the list item. It's not going to be assigned to the A tag. Now I have gone ahead to use JavaScript to assign the class of link to tab to the A tag. So and to be able to do that, we have to give this a class so we can target it. Now, if you can't see the class option and the title attribute, you go to your screen options and over here, you're going to check the title attribute and the classes and that option is going to be available. So when it's available, you give it the title attribute. So for the one that links to hash one, you give it one. For instance, the second tab has uh, the title attribute of two and the third one has the title attribute of three and they all correspond to the tab ID and the hash link. The button here also are gonna have attribute title, the value of which will be equal to the ID of the tab. For instance, this one is gonna be one, so it's gonna be equal to the ID of the tab it's linking to. The second one is gonna have you know, the attribute title, value is gonna be equal to the link, uh, the tab that it's linking to. So you get the gist. So the third one is also gonna have an attribute, in which case this the attribute is gonna be three. Now that's about all when it comes to setting up the element. Now let's take a look at the code. So I'm wrapping this code in um, event listener to ensure that it only executes after the document is loaded. The code is two parts. This first part has to do with links on the same page. And the second part has to do with links from another page. Now let's take a look at the first one. This first part has to do with the WordPress menu. So if you're using the WordPress menu, remember that we added the class of tap links to the WordPress menu. So what we're doing here is to use that class and target the A tag of the menu item and then assign a class of link to tab to each of them because we couldn't add it directly. So we use JavaScript to add it. 
Now we go ahead to create a variable tab links and select all the link to tab elements. So all the elements that are, have the class of link to tab, we store it in this variable and then and then we, we say if tab links, that means if this element exists on the page, so you don't want to run it when those elements do not exist for each of them. Now what we're doing, we're looping through each of the element with a class of link to tab. We are creating a variable for each of them. We call that this tab, and that's going to select any element that matches this. Any element that matches hash plus this dot get attribute. So what it means is when you click on say the first button, now that first button has an attribute called one. And so this is going to create a variable called this tab, and it's going to select any element on the page that is hash one. And guess what element is that? That is the first tab. And when you click on the next one, it's going to select the element that matches the, the selector hash two, because the attribute for this button is two. So hash two, which is the second tab. So if this had an attribute of services, then if you click it, it will select an element that has the ID of services, which is hash services, which would be any tab that had that ID. So and once we are done looping through and selecting that uh, those elements, we simply say this tab dot click. So when you perform a click action, you're actually clicking the element of that has the ID that corresponds to this tab. So that's how we are able to, you know, click through like this or click through like this. The second part is if you're coming from another window. So this is not going to work because when you're coming from another window, you're just loading the page. So you're done clicking. So we go there and then we click to. So we are done clicking before we come here. So uh, we need something that will take care of this second part. And that is the second part of this. So what we are doing now is, first of all, we're getting the Windows uh, URL. We're creating a variable called path name and we are getting the Windows URL. So windows.location.href. So I'm going to go to the console. Uh, don't mind this, it's just some fonts that I'm loading. So if I paste this, you're going to see that it gets the current URL which is, you know, this slash hash two, you have that hash two. So when you're coming in from another page, the anchor link is going to be attached to the URL. So it picks it up. Now, when, when it does that, the second thing we want to do is to create another variable. We assign a string hash symbol plus document dot URL split. So we are getting this, uh, the URL and we are splitting it where you have the hash sign. So if I take this document or URL split, um, on the second position, if I paste this here, document the URL split, it's going to give me two because two is, you know, it splits where it splits from where you have the hash symbol and then it returns two. We are assigning hash link to hash two in that case, which will correspond to the respective tab ID. And then we're creating another variable and we're saying hash tab. And we are saying the hash tab is going to be any element that matches this query, which will be hash link. So any element that matches hash this. And then once we store that in this variable, we are now creating a timeout function. Now, in my own case, I've set the timeout function to zero. The reason I'm creating a timeout function is because when you are just coming in from another page, in some cases, your elements may not be loaded and ready for this uh, code to work. So you might need to give it a little bit of timeout, like say 100, uh, say 100 uh, milliseconds. But in my own case, it's working. In some other instances, it, it may not work. So you just, you can increase that to 100. So I've left mine at zero because it works. Now I'm creating that timeout function and then I'm calling a function called open tab. And for the function open tab, I have a condition that checks the path name. So it checks if the path name include the hash link. Remember that a hash link was hash plus whatever the URL split returns. So in this case, let's say it's hash two. So if it includes hash two, then we're going to perform a click action on hash tab, which is a, the tab that correspond to that ID that we selected. And then of course we have to clear the timeout and call the timeout function, which will in turn call the open tab function. So that is how it works. So if you're coming in from another page and then it checks the URL, if the URL matches, it assigns it to a variable called hash tab and then performs a click action, which clicks the corresponding tab. So that's how it works while the one on the same page does its thing. So that is a complete solution to linking to tabs in Oxygen Builder. This works even if you are far away, it scrolls all the way down. So I purposely put this at the bottom of the page so you can see that even if you're coming from another page, it's gonna jump all the way down there. 
and if you're all the way up here it's gonna scroll all the way down so if you found this useful leave a comment below I want to read your comment. I want to know what you think about this solution. Has this solved the problem you have been looking for or not? Let me know. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. And while you are at it, I'd like you to check out my other videos on tabs. I have videos on how to change tabs to accordion and mobile, how to autoplay the oxygen tabs, how to create dynamic tabs using the oxygen tab and repeater. So check it out and let me know what you think. It's your summer time. Have a great day.